Hi friends, how's it going today? Uh, today I want to give you a brief overview of Bridge. Uh, this comes with your Creative Cloud Photoshop package. You can download it. Um, it doesn't cost any extra if you're already running Photoshop. So um, this is a digital asset manager. I use it as a basically just a file browser and a way to pick and choose my images. Super helpful, very intuitive. Um, I really like the amount of data that it provides and uh, the interface is fairly simple and I really enjoy it. So um, when you install it, it probably looks like this with your essentials tab chosen. Um, lots of different little windows and things like this. The very first thing that I like to do is I go over here to my folders and I drag them here. And then I want to set up my favorites. You can see my favorites. I have ghost settings, um, which is like my client files and things like that. Gretchen Otero YouTube. That's where I put all this kind of stuff. So you might have folders that you're going to access regularly and you can put them here. So let's just say I want to move Gretchen Otero photography. I'm going to drag it over here. Boom. Now it's a favorite. If you do something on accident, you can just right click, remove from favorites and it's gone. So we can drag that back over there once you're done. Um, the view that I like to use is Filmstrip. I think this is really nice. I'm gonna go into my Gretchen Otero YouTube folder because I wanna pull up some pictures here and we're gonna use these images here. So we have something nice to look at while we go through this also. So this gives you a great little film strip down here to see your images. I like to make this a little bit smaller. I'm just kind of dragging on this line, dragging it down. And I want these to be big enough so I can tell what's going on with them. You know, you can see here, okay, definitely husband, wife. And then here we have someone new, which is mom. So we can tell what's going on at the bottom without them taking up a lot of space. And then I also scoot this over some so that way when we have a horizontal picture, we have plenty of space. This was just a test shot. There we go. Okay, so something helpful that I like to see sometimes is our metadata. If we go here to the metadata tag, it changes everything. This is not the view I want. I like film strip, but we can just go up here to window, select metadata. It's stuck it up here. I want it down here, so I just drag and drop boom now we have our metadata um, if you ever need to see how you had your camera set or what was going on you can check your metadata here all sorts of information is sent from your camera to the image so you can really see um, what was going on with that image so that's good all right um, I love the filter feature if you're like okay I need a, a landscape photo you can filter your images by landscape or portrait. You can also go in here, look at your exposure time, aperture, focal length, all kinds of things. Um, so if you're ever trying to narrow something down, that's super helpful. You can also tag keywords. So um, if you do that, you can sort by keyword. I don't have any keywords set, so I don't have any of that to show you, but it's something that you definitely can do. Um, the export feature, which usually lives right here, can be super helpful. So say you need to send these images to the web, um, but you don't want to send these giant files. So you can just create a new preset. And let's see, export to specific folder. We can even browse. Let's see. And I'm going to right click new folder and call it um, smaller images. Select folder. Awesome. And then image format. This is just up to you. If I was putting these on the web, I'm going to say seven and I'm going to resize my long edge to 1500. 96 pixels per inch. And we can choose to include the metadata or not, completely up to you, and then say save. So now we have a new preset. I'm gonna rename it. You could have done this in the, when you were setting it up, I just missed that little block there, but change the preset name to web. So if you ever wanna change something, you definitely can. There we go. 
And then I'm just going to drag these over here onto web and say start export. It works on it up there so you can work in the background. We close and then if we go and navigate to that folder, boom, or smaller images for the web. So super helpful when you need to uh, maybe put them up there for client proofing, things like that. Absolutely an asset for you. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the rating system, and that's actually what I use to pick and choose images. So we'll go th over this a little bit more in depth in another video. But you have um, this option down here, control for label and ratings. I prefer to keep it checked. This is a new thing. Um, if you're new to Bridge, maybe you don't want to use this checked. I use it checked. So I have to hold control, and then if I hit the 7 key, for example, we get a yellow tag. If you don't have this checked, unclick, and I hit seven, it just automatically puts that yellow there without me um, having to hold control. I've just used the control for so long. This was always the way it was. Um, I'm just kind of used to it now. So I prefer to keep it checked. There we go. And then different ratings, we can have um, six is red, seven yellow, eight green, nine blue. And then you also have number ratings where you can see the little star. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. To clear a rating, you can hit zero. And then this is blue, so that's nine. Undo it. I think you can also maybe right click clear rating. No, I think we're good. So if you have seven and you don't want it to be yellow anymore, just hit control seven and it's gone. So super simple. Um, and then you can also I'll show you this real quick. Just kind of adding some random labels here. Sort by label. There we go. And so all your unlabeled ones will be to your left and all your labeled ones will come up here to your right. All right, guys, so that is my quick overview of Bridge. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. You can also reach out to me at Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.